Today, let's take a journey into the whimsical world of the artistic mind of Indiana's own self-taught artist, Gabriel Lehman. So you're self-taught. When did it dawn on you like, oh, I'm an artist? Well, I, I was just, I went from construction and my hands started getting bad and doing music and stuff like that. And I was like, you know, I always enjoyed drawing when I was a kid. So I tried drawing and drawing. I mean, that's one of those perishable skills. If you don't keep up with it, I was like, man, I'm terrible at this. So I just started messing around in paint. Um, and after a little while, I was just doing paintings and giving them to friends. And after a little while, one of my friends said, you're, you're getting pretty darn good at this. You ever thought of doing an art show? And I go, what's an art show? <laughs> so that's where, that's where I started. Well, how long was it, you know, when you first like started drawing and doing that to when you got your paints to like the friends saying, hey, that's pretty good. Uh, a matter of about three months. I, I just really I started in and I, and it was like I started a race and I knew I was in last place and I just really wanted to do it. How do you describe your work? So it's illustrated surrealism. Uh, now, Renee did Magritte. you make that term up? I did. Yeah. So you probably get this a lot. People think you're really doing it through computer generated art, right? And through a computer, but no. <laughs> if they knew my computer skills. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've openly talked about being dyslexic. Uh -huh. How has that really affected your life? Did you know you were dyslexic? Did anybody tell you or did you hide it? How, how has that played a part? Well, I didn't know I was dyslexic until I was in my 20s. So I went all the way through school thinking that I had a second rate mind, you know, that I, I was dumb. Or, but uh, my art teacher who really just celebrated my brain and how quirky it was and I love to draw on everything I mean she really she was like you're not you just mm. think differently in your work you know you see a lot of sky a lot of environment the clouds I love high elevation I love the idea that the the gravity of this world is it's it's mercurial Right. In, in my world, like it's not really always consistent and it doesn't weigh you down because everything has these big skies and everything, you know, is just a little bit more fantastical and it allows me to just explore right. what flight looks like with uh, no power, no electricity, you know. Yeah, there's no power. Right. Everything's like self-powered by the character. Yeah, by the characters, and wind so how, up. You know, and, you have these so. characters, are they you? I mean, different parts of me, yes, uh, I would say definitely. So you've overcome a lot in your life. What, what is your uh, answer to, you know, when somebody says, I can't do it? Don't focus on what you can't do. I call this, this is my smart, mm. right? This is how I can show my intelligence. We lean into what we're strong at and really celebrate that in each other. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be people that will come around you that are good at different things. Let them be good at different things. Find out what you're good at and be great at it. Gabriel's an inspiration to all of us. He reminds us that it's important to believe in yourself and to find your own pathway to follow your dreams. If you need a little inspiration, dive into Gabriel's story and his magical world at GabrielLayman.com. For Great Day TV, I'm Barney Wood.